President Mohamed Buhari spoke at the passing out parade of 68 regular courses of the Nigerian Defense Academy NDA in Kaduna yesterday. Welcome to Issues Today on XPB TV Africa. I am Isabel Umudon and with me here is... I'm APG, God's promise. In his words, he lamented that though his administration has recorded successes in the war against insecurity, but we still have challenges that involve in other areas. God's promise, uh, looking at the statement the president just made, what's your take on insecurity? Uh, well, let me start by saying that the Nigerian government has done a lot when it comes to managing security challenges that we're facing uh, right here in Nigeria. But we know too that 2022 has been a very critical year uh, in uh, Nigerian history in terms of insecurity. As a matter of fact, uh, the United Nations have marked Nigeria as a country for uh, you know special concern. That means indeed we have a significant security challenge in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Security votes are supposed to take care of or uh, minimize security challenges, but we are not saying that. And uh, we must also say too that uh, these security challenges that we are facing, they are caused by so many factors, which are over time we're going to mention. But saying that, that Nigeria is, is a bit secure, that's not true because for the first time in Nigeria, governors are coming out like the Zamfara government saying that let our citizens carry gun, let our citizens protect themselves. I mean, what necessitated that? It is because of the high rate of insecurity, insecurity. that we are facing. So then Nigeria has uh, never had it this bad when it comes to the, the average Nigerian is walking on the street and he's scared for his life. The average Nigerian is not even sure of people around him anymore. Uh, even the security operatives are, are, that are supposed to be uh, uh, those who will implement and execute the laws. We are seeing the direct opposite of what they're supposed to do. It seems Mr. President is allegedly bragging about um, his administration being the best yeah, over well, time. Uh, well, <laughs> it's very obvious. I would not want to go into details, but we have sensible Nigerians out there who can really tell if his administration have been the best so far in Nigeria uh, and if we have witnessed uh, improvements in the security situation in our country. For instance, the Abuja Kaduna train attack on March 28, 2022. Many people were held hostage and recently 23 hostages adopted by the terrorists we are released well the the abuja kaduna train attack it's happened since march and we never expected that it will be here at this time i mean that attack was a well-planned one uh, which we 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 didn't even see it coming out that way uh videos of the victims of that attack were posted of how they were flogged some of the pregnant women even giving birth in the hands of the kidnappers and all of that. Some have been released, some are still not released. Uh, uh, look at Kaduna, for example, Sakoto. They've witnessed lots and lots of kidnapping in recent times. Uh, Bono State have been taken over by Boko Haram, occupying some major local government areas in the state. So this this is, is, is why we we'll celebrate life. I would not say we are celebrating victory over insecurity, but we are celebrating the return life and that is just how I see it. Okay, can you tell us the possible causes of insecurity in Nigeria? It's it's obvious. Unemployment is one of them. There, 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 there are so many people who want to be employed, who want to find something doing, and they don't have it. I want you to know too that the business of insecurity in Nigeria is a multi-million uh, or billion Naira business. People people use insecurity to gain a lot. Uh, it will even surprise you to know that even allegedly, even in, in government offices, people do it a lot. That's so uh, uh, poverty is one of them. I mean, as a, a country or a nation that is stable to a reasonable extent, we will not get to witness one person. There will be no need for me to go kidnap someone else to get enough money. Why I'm not, I'm not trying to justify the act in any way. Uh, we also see that a poor governmental policies is also one major factor that is affecting affecting insecurity in, in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Diplomatic decisions are made and uh, they are not made in favor of the people. Uh, the concept of democracy, especially representative democracy, is not really felt in the country. So there are so many factors, but majorly poverty is, is one, one of them. Of them. Uh, poverty is one of them. Unemployment, like, like yeah. I've said earlier, uh, 
and some other minor factors. We know that insecurity has been a challenge to national growth and development of the nation. What are the solutions to this? Effective uh, formulation of policies, security policies, and also the implementation of these policies will help. Uh, we also know too that the government to a reasonable extent, they, they disburse money for security votes about this uh, money, they're not utilized the right way. We know that many have been diverted to other um, sectors of the country unnecessarily, even some to private pockets, and uh, yeah. that is not that is not good enough. Uh, and also trying to manage the situation, since we already know the possible problems or causes, then we already have solved the problem halfway. So let there be a, a job creation. Job this creation really help. Yes, and you know too that uh, what's what is very interesting about this is a nation that is not secure, you cannot even uh, invite foreign investors. And we know that that is one means that you contribute to national growth and development. So let them look critically into eradicating poverty to the best. I mean, we've seen countries that uh, we never even thought they would be able to do well alone, but they're doing very they're great. Doing and it is just an intentional act, not just on the part of the government, the part of the people too. So everyone has to be intentional and conscious about making sure that the nation is safe and we should be law abiding because I mean uh, that Nigeria has constitution uh, even though we don't see the implementation of the constitution even though the judiciary arm has been compromised there is no checks and balances and all of that if if if, if there is there is critical attention paid to these uh, these factors and people should stop uh, seeing insecurity as a, an avenue or it means to make to money. money Nigeria can be a better place we can we can hit our chest and say yes Nigeria is secure I mean we were not going to be ranking 146 uh, uh, out of uh, 195 or so uh, as con uh, the country that is most insecure it's possible for us to to get to that point where we say okay we are ranking number two now the second con the second most secure country in africa or the world in general is very possible all right thank you for coming to the studio today thank you very much for having me security is every man's business just like mr god's promise said the government should creates more job opportunities to reduce the high rate of insecurity in Nigeria. All right, guys, we would love to hear from you. Drop your opinion on the comment section. And don't forget to follow us across all social media platforms, XPB TV Africa. We want to say a very big thank you to all our today's sponsors. And if you want to sponsor this program, contact us on XPB TV Africa. Thank you for watching. I am Isabel Omodon. Thank you.